The mathematical model of the universe equals six days of creation plus one day of rest. Here are the first hundred phi numbers, also known as the Fibonacci sequence. Reduce the numbers down to one digit, their digital root, to find a sequence of 24 numbers. This repeats infinitely and coincides with there being 24 hours in a day. Now focus on the last digit of the Fibonacci numbers to find another infinite sequence, this time of 60 numbers, which coincides with there being 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. Take the 60 numbers and form them into a circle like a clock. Four quarters appear, defined by the number zero, making a cross. This coincides with how the golden spiral grows in quarter circles. And it also coincides with the four seasons, defined by the solstices and the equinoxes. Together with the number fives, they divide the wheel into 12 parts, like the hours of day and night, the zodiac signs, and the 12 cranial nerves, showing that phi corresponds with the astrological zodiac wheel, which can also be represented as a sine wave. When we square the circle, pi 3.14 appears right on the decimal place. This mechanism demonstrates the six days of creation plus one day of rest, or the seven stages, phases, or turns that the creator made when creating the universe as we see it now in the present. The three numbers that surround each of the zeros are repeated. 1011-7077-9099-3033. These numbers form the first arm or cog in the mechanism, and the cross formed by the pi numbers forms another arm. Turn the yellow pi arm 180 degrees, and the purple arm of the zeros 90 degrees both counterclockwise. Now, the numbers of the purple arms are grouped inside the numbers of the yellow arms. The sevens, the nines, the threes, and the ones. Turn both arms 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now the numbers surrounding the zeros are balanced. This complements the first cog of the mechanism. Turn all of the cogs 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now the numbers that surround the purple arm also coincide. They point to a synchronicity between the numbers when they were in their initial positions. The numbers zero and five form the axes. Numbers one and four form half a circle, which complement the numbers six and nine to make a full circle. And the same occurs with the numbers two and three with seven and eight. The relationship between the numbers can be seen clearly when drawn around a 10 digit color coded circle. Now add a new cog to the mechanism and turn all of them 90 degrees counterclockwise. At this point, it appears that the numbers that surround the yellow arm alternate, changing position each time the yellow arm crosses over. So now they coincide with the fours, the eights, the sixes and the twos of the green arm. Half of the number fives have numbers to the right of them, and the other half have numbers to their left, revealing another two cogs of the mechanism. Turn the blue arm with numbers to the right 90 degrees clockwise, and turn the blue arm with the numbers to the left 90 degrees counterclockwise. This might relate to how we see different directions in the rotation of the stars, when looking northwards 
were looking southwards. All the numbers are now grouped together. This appears to be the first phase or the first day of creation. And that this is the first divine number sequence before the mechanism started. That is why the turns were mostly counterclockwise. We were reverse engineering the process. Mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. This is why we can find fractal patterns in absolutely everything. Phi and Pi appear to be mathematical proofs of intelligent design. And this mechanism demonstrates the seven phases.